guys welcome back and for the today's video I am going to share with you how I clean my home with all natural homemade cleaners that are easier on our budget and it's much better for our hat we had two raccoons and a few squirrels who came in and made this mess no, it's actually not the truth, but <laughs> we made a huge mess in the kitchen and Joad and the boys were out of the house. They had some programs to do that was really fun. And meanwhile, it was so quiet at home. I really enjoyed that. Sometimes it's just really nice to have the house to all our staff. And I started to clean up the kitchen. I did some food preparing earlier on this is basically why it's messy <laughs> and so this is something I'm going to serve tomorrow and make tomorrow because we're going to have some friends coming over but also we're gonna go and take a day trip so I want to prepare as much as I can so I can have a very free trip When I clean the kitchen, I always like to start with the island. I mean, it, it just sticks out. It's right middle of the kitchen. So that's the first thing that I want to clean. So I'm just gathering all the stuff on the other side and I'm going to just scrub down everything on this island. getting questions about this done drift how does it work and to tell you the truth if something is on the back burner it works amazing if something on the front which i use most often uh, not so much so but since we have a higher ceiling over here that's the only option we have now One of the reason I love to clean up when my family is not home, that is just one thing that it goes faster, but also it frees the time. <laughs> so once I get done something, it stays nice a little bit longer. And this nasturtium is from my garden. It still has flowers, so I'm really enjoying it. Just checking on the boys bathroom if there's any scary stuff in there but it's not they <laughs> they did actually a really good job on that day so I don't have to do anything in there
okay things are really looking up here <laughs> when i'm cleaning this part of the kitchen i know i'm almost done because i always start with the island and after i pushed everything onto that side and I'm, I'm pretty much i'm trying to shovel everything into the sink and then loading the dishwasher and hand wash what needs to be washed but this part is really something when i'm starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel When I clean the sink, I like to use some baking soda that I mixed with some essential oils. In the fall time, I like to add some cinnamon as well because it just smells amazing. And if there's are some stubborn spots, I like to use the magic eraser. But there's a good thing about this grid. It really holds up the things when I put it in there like the pots and pans and plates until I get around to put them into the dishwasher or hand wash them so it's really pretty much holds it up from the bottom of the sink so i can just rinse off all the crumbs and the leftovers of the food so it's really saved me some work because it doesn't get that dirty the part of the juicer is not entirely dry so I'm just going to hand dry them and put it together because I find that that I'm more willing to use it if it's ready to use so that's something that helps my morning that it's already put them together and it's ready to use Most of the nights I just like to let it sit whatever I just hand washed and it will be dry in the morning but tonight I was determined to clean everything off of the countertop because I just love the feeling of it. I don't really always have the energy or time for it but tonight it just felt really nice. It was a very quiet night and I was on the roll so I just cleaned everything off of the countertop and I started to sweep the floor and and this broom was made by my husband so we just bought two brushes and then he just screwed them together on one piece of wood and so it's very easy to make but I love this to use in the kitchen because we mostly have this bigger chunk of foods there as I preparing the food and also there's corners and edges under the cabinets it just makes it easier to clean with that Just a quick sweep on the floor and just tidying up if I see some random items I'm just going to tuck them in the closet and just returning everything to its place. For tomorrow we're going to have some friends over 
so I already prepared the food uh, we're going to have shish kebab because <laughs> I think that is something that everybody likes and also I prepared the vegetables that comes with that and I prepared other foods that but I wanted to show you guys this one because I used this vacuum method so the potatoes are already chopped up and the onions I did this before lunchtime so it's been a, almost a half a day and as you can see the potatoes are just as fresh as I just when I cut them so this is what makes that work for me with food preparing with these bags that they don't get any oxygen so they don't turn brown and it's going to save so much time for me so after we have a day trip, we will have an easy time to prepare dinner for our friends. I really hope that you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching until the end i send you guys so much love and many many hugs and i will see you soon bye